Ambition is something that is, um, it's really fraught for me. Right. Because on the one hand, it is uh, an attractive quality and something that you want to aspire to and something you want to associate with yourself. But on the other hand, um, there are things about it potentially that um, repel me from it. Right. So I'm really fraught. Um, when I think of it, I think... The, the question for me is whether or not I can take ambition and separate it from its consequences. Right. And um, the consequences of ambition can be good or bad. Right. But that, what does that mean for ambition itself? Right. So I kind of generally think ambition is probably a good thing because it keeps you moving. But then you've got to think about the context in which it's operating and what its consequences are. I think of it like fire. Right, 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 right. How you use it depends yeah, yeah. on the impact. It's, it's good or bad, and it can get out of control. Right. So are you ambitious? Yeah, yeah. I thought about that. I thought whether or not I'd use another word like driven or something like that, but, but I am ambitious. Okay. So why do you think you're that way? That's a really difficult question to ask. It's difficult to separate socialization from any kind of intrinsic elements. Right. So ambition is um, certainly something from my parents, particularly my mother, had a lot of ambition for me. Right. And um, instilled in me a desire to aspire to something which kind of hauls ambition along with it. Okay. Um, but... Um, I also feel a very strong ambition for things that don't have, they won't necessarily have direct benefits to me. So things right. like social equity and environmental sustainability. And while you know they they will come back to me and they make me feel good by being involved in them, um, there's uh, there's something intrinsic about that. So I don't mm. know necessarily that was socialised. Certainly not socialised from my parents or those around me because they weren't thinking that way. Old friend of mine who's um, she's she was a Rhodes Scholar um, and she now lectures at NYU. Um, a super impressive person, um, very ambitious. And then and, and she had a baby four months ago, and there's been an incredible levelling of her energy. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious, or are you quite happy with where you're at? Um, probably before this weekend, I would have had maybe said and had a different answer. Okay. Um, I think. The fact that people, like we're seeing at New Frontiers, who right. are willing to come to New Zealand and actually invest in creating new things, yeah. um, something also the Next Foundation, which is a similar kind of thing, you know, people are actually prepared to direct capital towards ideas yeah. that are shaping the future.